In this exercise, I would like to show you how to create a virtual machine in Asia using a Windows operating system and in addition, how to establish a connection to a file share, which uh, contains a execute, an executable, which can be called. So let's get started at the Asia portal. Therefore, at first click at virtual machines. Check create and choose Asia virtual machine. Now you have to fill out this form. So the first section basics uh, starts with the uh, choose of the dedicated subscription. We are now at the Asia workshop subscription. This remains here, but a resource group is requested. So this resource group contains furthermore the resource. There we create a new resource group, which we name resource group A set O one. In the next field, you can, uh, yeah, you can uh, provide the virtual machine a dedicated name. So I would like to name it demo VM A set O one. According to the region, West Europe uh, can stay here. And with regard to the image, let's choose a Windows operating system, in that case, a Windows 10 Pro. According to the size, uh, that uh, would fit too. So uh, it's not important uh, for that exercise to get the most performant virtual machine. As a username, let's choose a set, set O1 and a password of your choice, but uh, be aware uh, of the value, so between 12 and uh, 123 characters long. Uh, it's uh, also a good idea to use some capital letters. So therefore think about a proper uh, password and enter it. And confirm the password. All right, so uh, this is already set. So with regard to the inbound ports, uh, so this means that it's possible to get a connection to the virtual machine uh, via RDP. And there, just confirm that guy here and click on review and create. So the settings are now validated. Yeah, you get a uh, preview with regard to the costs. Validation passed, therefore let's click on create. Now the virtual machine is getting deployed. This takes a while. Right, as you can see, the deployment is now in progress. We are in the subscription Asia workshop, created the resource group RG minus A set O one. And now let's let's be patient and in the meantime we can switch 
to the file share um, to which we would like to establish a connection in a direct way from the Azure Virtual Machine using a PowerShell script. So here we have the storage account ASAT Graz Workshop Storage, and this includes the file share named ASAT Graz Share. Click on it. Inside there is a directory named console app minus windows, and inside of that there are there's a lot of stuff, and I would like to show you how you can establish a connection to the file share and how to call, for instance, the console app minus windows executable, which is a simple uh, application, a uh, so simple .NET application. And after mounting the file share, uh, this executable is getting called. Let's switch back to the VM. The deployment is still in progress. So for this uh, VM, a quite uh, lightweight uh, one is chosen, which, yeah, uh, as you've seen, it's, uh, it doesn't uh, consist of that much uh, CPU power and memory. So this means, of course, it's not the most performance uh, virtual machine, but it fits for that exercise. In the meantime, uh, what would be also possible to check is again verifying the inputs. So, as location, I've chosen West Europe. The name of the machine, Demo VM AZ01. The resource group name, etc. That's about the virtual machine size, so we get ES1 underline uh, V2 and a set O2 as admin username. Let's check again overview and the deployment of the machine is now complete. Therefore, we can switch to it, go to resource. Here we go. And this means that, yeah, in general, the deployment is done, but uh, it's not 100% uh, ready. So again, let's uh, be patient. Again, here we can see in uh, this overview the most important uh, information about the virtual machine. So uh, it belongs to the resource group RG minus AZ01. Um, this was created inside the subscription Asia workshop. It's a Windows operating system. Uh, we got a public IP address. So uh, by using that IP address, we can establish a remote desktop uh, connection, inserting that uh, IP address and using the credentials uh, we've chosen. And this would allow you yeah, to establish a, a remote desktop connection to the machine and you can enter the GUI. Here again at networking the public uh, IP address. That's about the most important uh, information. In addition here at connect, if you choose RDP, um, yeah, this would uh, establish the RDP connection by using the mentioned public IP address and the credentials. Let's refresh. 
the machine still not done. But therefore, in the meantime, we can switch again back to the share. So how can we establish a connection to that file share? It's rather easy. So click at the file share. And there exists the button connect. Click on it. And here you can see on the right side, uh, this uh, guy will help us to establish the connection. Here you can choose your operating system. So from which operating system you would like, would like to establish the connection to that file share. Uh, as we are creating a Windows virtual machine, let's choose Windows, of course. Here you can choose the drive letter, which will be used for mounting the file share. And here you can choose show script. And this provides you a script which establish, establishes the connection uh, to this file share from the virtual machine. Let's again switch back to the machine. Let's see whether it's done. All right, should be ready now. Therefore, let's try to establish a connection to the file share. File share. Therefore, check on the left side at the section operations, there exists run command. And here choose run PowerShell script, which as the description reveals, executes a PowerShell script. Click on it. There you can see you can insert some code. That's where I would like to copy and paste the already prepared code. So that's fine so far. So this would mount the file share with the drive letter set at the virtual machine. But in addition, I also would like to call the executable. Therefore, I type and so it will be located at the set drive. We got the directory console app windows. Console app minus windows and I would like to call the execute table with the very same name of the directory. Named console app minus windows dot exe. Copy that dot exe and now run it. So again, this script, so the part line one to nine will establish a connection to the file share. So it, it's getting mounted at the set drive letter. And afterwards here in line 11, we are going to call the console app minus windows executable. Let's again wait for some time. So as you can see, the script execution is still in progress. And here we go. So we mounted the file share at the set drive letter and the console application was getting called. And this just prints, hi, I'm a Windows console app. And that's how you can create a Windows virtual machine in Asia and how to mount a file share in an automated way by 
using that PowerShell script function. Hope you enjoyed it.